Girl, it has been a minute once again since I played on Fallbrook and I was gonna start this video after loading up the game, but uh, we have a campsite villager. Very curious who it's gonna be. You know what, like, like, why don't we just start off the video by seeing who it is. Here we are, it is October 5th, fall is coming. Baby, it's pumpkin spice season on the island. The leaves are slowly starting to change color. The grass will sooner or later be piss yellow. I'm very excited for that. Who is in my campsite today on this island? It better be somebody worth it. Cause so far everybody on this island right now, kind of pissing me off. Bella, Miss Bella. She kind of pisses me off too because I just know her breath smells like hot Cheetos. It's 11 in the morning and you know she's already had three bags of Takis and now she's washing it down with that cup of coffee. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Her bratty ass energy is not welcome on this island. She would make things worse. It's been a while since I just like casually played Animal Crossing. Uh, if you missed it, you know, I did my first stream here on YouTube and I reset Camp Raddick. So been kind of grinding away with that island. So I figured today we would just take things chill here on Fallbrook, just kind of see what everybody's up to. I don't think I'm gonna do any kind of decorating, but we'll we'll see, maybe the mood will change later on. Is anybody in the plaza? Leaf is here, my baby. I won't be talking to him right now because I'm not in the mood for any plants. Where are my villagers? Where are my friends? Um, nobody's nearby. Oh, Doby, hello. Ah, this been a spell since I seen your goofy mug. Okay, bro, you did me dirty in the last video and I'm coming to you as a friend and here you are calling me goofy. Seriously, that's how we're gonna start things off, grandpa? Uh-uh, just when I thought things can get better between the two of us, you had to pull that move. Poppy, I know you won't do me dirty. I know you won't do me dirty. Please, please tell me something's going up. How's, how's it going with you and Melba? Like, let's just chat. Want to hear about something that really happened to me? No fooling? So, one time I was watching a scary movie and then in the middle of the night, I suddenly woke up because I felt like something strange was going on. I felt achy all over too. Ooh, not Poppy dealing with sleep paralysis. I tried to jump out of bed to see what was wrong, but I could Oh my God, sleep paralysis? Even Animal Crossing villagers have to go through that? Are you kidding me? Nintendo, why would you program this into the game? That was because I'd fallen asleep on the floor. Oh, oh, <laughs> great conversation from Poppy once again. I love that for him, yes. You know what, I have enough bells. <gasps> oh, Viss, sorry, I was kind of spacing out there. You know, deep thoughts. You were thinking about moving, you want to move away from this island? I'm sorry, are we all too good for you? Girl, I would love to kick him out. I really would. I really would, but... He's got to stay for the drama. Baby girl, I didn't, oh, he's going to take that message the wrong way. Oh no, now he's going to think I want him here. Yes, I do want you here, but not because I like you. I want you because you provide content, because you provide drama. We can fight and that will bring in the views. Uh, you couldn't, my, I am not your vis, bitch. Don't you dare. Let's hug it out. Uh-uh, don't you. Mm -mm. Don't you dare come near me. Uh, uh I regret this. I regret keeping you here as soon as I said that because I knew, I knew you and your giant ass ego would take that the wrong way. That's what I get for being nice to him. Y'all see why I'm mean to him? Because he's so self-centered. Because every time you compliment him, he thinks you're flirting with him. That does sound familiar, but that's, we won't dwell too much on that. Let's just like stop by Able Sisters today and see if they have anything cute. Like, you know, it's been a while since I played on this island once again. Like maybe we can just scrounge up some gifts for my villagers, anything cute, anything worth it in here. We can go say hi, catch up, see what everybody's doing. <gasps> Yes, the Chesterfield coats are in stock right now. Ooh, that's a win for me. Those are the best coats in the game. I don't care what anybody says. And the berets. I'm thinking right away getting one of these berets for Melba. Like, I think the red one would be really cute on her. And then maybe for the jackets, like maybe the blue one for Poppy. Um, nothing in terms of accessories. We'll buy these for sure. Anything else in there? I hate that I have to go back in. I can't just buy more than one thing. How many times am I gonna complain about that? There's no point complaining. Uh, Y'all see the Lego sets? By the way, while we're talking about Animal Crossing, the Lego sets, they announced those today. Ooh, my theory, my theory is still acting up right now. I'm just saying, if we get news of a next 
of the next Nintendo console. Just saying, maybe get your hopes up for a new Animal Crossing game. <laughs> is it worth doing that? I don't know. I don't know, but I am ready for the next game. As fun as it would be if they just updated New Horizons one more time, I would rather they just focus their energy on the next game, put all the things that we wanted from this game in the next game and add more features and then some and just make it even more exciting, you know? Other Nintendo news, I don't know, Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon's happening. Excited for the DLC part two. Streets are saying it's coming out in December because they announced it was coming out winter 2023. I hope it comes out in December. It makes sense. It makes a ton of sense for it to be a holiday title anyways. I can't wait for that. I will probably stream it when it eventually happens. Uh, which, yeah, speaking of streaming, uh, you know, I am planning on streaming a bunch. I think especially once I head back to school, I want to try and like stream more often. And also like streaming kind of takes a load off my back. So like I can kind of just focus on like, you know, making videos more and like actually spend more time making the videos. Where did I get this shirt from? The chick tee. I have no memory of getting that, but that's a cute shirt. Like I'm currently working on a Stardew Valley video. Uh, fun fact, it is a hundred days in Stardew Valley. You heard it here first. Expect that video in a couple of weeks. I haven't started recording it yet, <laughs> but I will eventually get to it. Is there anything else? You know, I kind of want to give the stash and glasses. No, I want to give the silly glasses to Lopez. Can I do that first? Oh, speak of the devil. He's right over here. Of course, this man is following me. Will it work? Please tell me he will actually wear them. I meant to give him the silly glasses. I'm giving him the wrong glasses. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ew. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're like hanging off his nose. Lopez. This is not a good look for you. What is this, honey? Oh, my God. Look at them. And you know, the best part about this is that he thinks he's doing something right now. He thinks he's eating this look up right now, but he is doing nothing of the sorts. Baby, you can't even wear the glasses properly. I love that. Ah, God, Lopez, never change. As annoying as you are and as big as a flop as you are, I hope you never change. Stay the same. Agnes, my girl, my bestie, hello. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for abandoning you once again. Oh my God, it's been like so long since we just like chatted and kikied. Like what's going on with you, Agnes? I wonder, what is going on with her? Ha nothing really exciting is happening in her life right now, you know? Here's a new shirt for you. It's pink, your favorite color. Cute, and you're not giving me something in return. Is pink not her favorite color? How rude, okay. Melba, would you like your beret, please? You will look so cute in the beret and it better be cute enough for you to give me something in return. Bam, cute. And Am I doing something wrong? Like why is nobody giving me something in return? I've given her that beret before when she used to live on Fallbrook. And I, I distinctively remember her giving me something, but she's not giving me something this time around. Poppy, you still like me, right? You know, like, you know, usually like on this island when someone gifts you something and you know, they give you a gift, it means they like you. And usually if they don't give you something in return, it doesn't mean anything, right? It doesn't mean these people don't like me anymore, right? Oh, this coat looks so cute on you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me something in return. Okay, see, see, Poppy still has my back. Of course, Poppy has my back because he knows Poppy is a real one. I gave him the wrong jacket, by the way. Oh. Why did he give me SpongeBob's outfit? Is that not what SpongeBob wears? The red tie and the white shirt? Honestly though, even though we're kind of beefing right now, like I feel like that shirt would look really cute on Dobie. I feel like it matches his vibe perfectly well. Short sleeved uniform top. Yes, oh my God, that is exactly his aesthetic. <gasps> and he's giving me the flame tee. Oh, that's one of the campiest shirts in the game. Wait, I love that shirt. Oh, Dobie, you're a real one for that. Maybe I was being too hard on you. Maybe I'll forgive you. Who do I want to give the flame shirt to? Who would look good in the flame shirt? I know who would look good in the flame shirt, but I don't know if it's worth discussing or giving it to him right now. Where is that man anyway? Speak of the devil. I haven't said his name yet, but is he home? He is home. Last time I was here, things didn't go so well, but maybe things will be better this time around. I'll just go in give him the shirt as a friendly gesture and leave. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Hi. 
Oh, if it isn't this. It's been a while. Are those new clothes? Girl, these are the same clothes I wear every single day. I found this shirt. Someone gave it to me and I thought it would look cute on you, I guess. It matches your vibes. So here, yeah, it looks good. And it's def, you're not gonna give me something in return. Okay, at least it makes sense with him. It does make sense with him. Obviously he doesn't wanna deal with me right now. So I guess it's best that I just leave. What is there to do right now? I actually don't know. <laughs> Like, I guess I could spend some time, like, figuring out this area, you know? Like, I mean, like, I said before that I wanted to connect these things and, like, get rid of... Well, I didn't want to get rid of this area, but now that I'm looking at it, like, I kind of want to, like, change things up, you know? I want to get rid of a few of the trees. You know what? Let's just do it. Sure. I have, like kind of an idea on what I want to do. We might as well just do it. We might as well just figure it out. I put on my hard hat, but I actually have to get rid of this ramp first before I start terraforming. So I guess we should just do that. Oh God, now I have to time travel once again. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it is currently very gorgeous. Goddamn early morning in this game. I will always love early morning in this game, especially this time of year. The colors and everything, it just works. Here we have our area that we are gonna try and work on today. I'm just gonna go until I don't feel like doing it anymore because that's kind of the vibe I have going on. And you know what? It is an angry coconut video. And now that I'm watching Drag Race once again, I'm sorry, I would like to chat about it for a second. I feel like it's been a while since I had like a little Drag Race chat because like I said, I haven't really been watching Drag Race <laughs> as of lately because like there aren't really any seasons that I'm currently following, but Drag Race UK, is currently going on and all I'm gonna say is Stan Caramel. Um, no, but like what, today the second episode just premiered. I will say I went into this season with like kind of low expectations because Drag Race UK ever since season two hasn't really been the same, but this season so far has been really, really good. I have to admit it, the cast, it's always the cast. The cast dynamic this time around is really good. I really liked all the queens and like, you know it's a good cast because today was the first elimination and like, I was sad. I was actually sad thinking about the fact that a queen had to go home because I liked all 10 of them so much. Like, it's weird because usually when they shrink the cast down, I get like kind of annoyed because I'm always just like, I wish they would have more queens. Obviously, I know the circumstances as to why I do not want to talk about those right now, though, because I would rather not. I don't know why. I feel like this time around, the smaller cast worked in a way, like in a really weird way. Having a smaller cast makes the season feel better for some reason. I don't know. Like there's only 10 queens. It's like... At least it means we're gonna get to the finale sooner too, you know? <laughs> like, they're not gonna drag this season unless they do, because, you know, minor, like, tea gossip. There was supposed to be 12 queens, but now there's only 10. So, I mean, the first week nobody went home. So that's one double Shantae gone already. So hopefully that means they'll only have, like, one more non-elimination round. I really hope they do that. I hope they don't drag this season out much longer than it needs to be. I think there's only 12 episodes or maybe 10 episodes. So usually 10 episodes with 10 queens, that means there's gonna be at least one more, at most one more non-elimination round. I hope they keep it at that. Otherwise, like I said, the season will feel like it's going on for too long. I think I am going to clean up this area. I think that's what we're gonna do right now. I kind of want to get rid of a lot, not like too much. I think what I want to do, because like, I like all the trees. I like all the pave. I don't like the custom designs on the ground though. I think the custom designs are a bit too much for me. So I think we're gonna start off by getting rid of all the custom designs. Just start with the blank slate. You know, this time around with Fallbrook 3.0, I, I want to try and go for like the more minimalistic look and feel. So I think like the path specifically that's on here, I'm gonna get rid of that. I think we'll leave everything else for now, but maybe we'll just get rid of everything just to kind of clean up the area. 
and then we'll go on from there. What else is there worth talking about right now though? We can talk about music because girl, there has been so much music that's come out this month and I've talked about some of it, but I haven't shared my thoughts on everything. First and foremost, I will say album of the month so far for me has been Slater's Starfucker. Everybody streams Starfucker. It's a good album. I have to admit it. Great pop work. Slater, I feel like Slater is just such an underrated artist in general. Like she is a pop girly that always delivers on the concept. She always comes in with the concept. Each album has a distinct theme that she sticks to and it slays all the time. Her debut self-titled EP was like full on Y2K, a Britney inspired Y2K kind of hyper pop-esque album and it worked. And then the second album, she kind of embraced the hyper pop sound, kind of a nostalgic-esque vibe to it as well, kind of. And now this third album is all about Hollywood. It's all about fame and glory. And there's like an 80s sound to it as well. She stuck to it and it ate. The whole, like it's Slater. Slater never misses with her albums. Everybody needs to give her a shot because she's truly a great artist. Kylie Minogue, mother Kylie, another artist who never misses never ever misses. She's underrated here in North America. I will say she's definitely not underrated though in other parts of the world. But yeah, Kylie Minogue is great. Uh, padam padam. <laughs> I think in terms of trees and stuff, I'm gonna get rid of a few of these trees like I'm already doing just to kind of open up the space. Isn't that so shocking for me to say of all things, opening up the space? I usually love things when it's cramped and cluttered. Oh my gosh, like who am I? Who is this brand new Vis? I think like that's good enough though. I don't know, I didn't wanna do too much. We got rid of a few trees. I don't know what I wanna do here though. That's why I'm like, I wanna just like clean up the area as a whole, but I don't wanna get rid of everything because I still like it. But you know, at the same time, new beginnings, brand new era, I feel like if I get rid of this, it would open up more possibilities. We can have more things. I, I'm gonna leave this area for now. I definitely want to change out this area though, as much as I love it. Girl, I'm never up here. I never spend time up here because it's just kind of boring to me. I don't know. I'm just like, let's try something else, you know? What is this? Is it a fossil? It's a gyroid. Ooh, a buongoid, a buong. <laughs> Get rid of the W and it means something else. Wait, what does this gyroid even look like? Oh, okay. It kind of looks like a coconut. Also, while I'm down here, I'm going to plant all these bushes that I have in my inventory just to clear up pocket space. I hate that you can't put bushes in storage. Like, yes, I know it's realistic. You can't put bushes in storage. You can't put fish in letters, but like it's a fucking video game with talking animals, <laughs> like talking animals. You can't put fish in letters, but you can put a whale shark in your pocket. Why can I not put plants, <laughs> bushes, trees in my storage? Make it make sense. How come some things you're allowed to be zany and crazy and do the unthinkable and the impossible, but in other aspects, they're like, no, we want it to be realistic. Nintendo, please, please. It's a video game where your imaginations are running wild. Embrace it. Embrace the craziness, embrace the weirdness and just do it. We need to continue clearing out this area. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna do it. We're getting rid of all the furniture items at least just to kind of clear up the space and all these fences. Oh my God, like this area, I did this area before the 2.0 update. So like these are all the old items except for these park fences. I added those in later. I can't believe I've had this island for so, so long and I still play the game. Two years later, I am still an Animal Crossing player. And yeah, I don't think that'll ever change. Obviously I don't play the game as much as I used to. Like there really was a point where I was playing this game every single day, as soon as I woke up and until I went to bed. Granted it's because, you know, quarantine. <laughs> so I had time to do that. A small part of me loves thinking about those days and being like, oh, I wish I can go back to them. But at the same time, aside from Animal Crossing, like during quarantine and everything, like there really wasn't much else going on. Obviously the world was in a kind of scary point because duh, there was a global pandemic. But then on top of that, like for most of us, I feel like, you know, thankfully nothing insane or crazy happened in my life. But like at the end of the day, I was still just kind of at home doing 
nothing. Yeah, it's relaxing. It's fun in the moment. But like looking back at it, I was always just like, I wish I was able to do more. I wish I was able to leave my house during that time. I think for me especially, cause like fun fact, for anybody in the GTA, like you'll know when I say this, I went to York and I started York in 2017. Anybody who went to York in 2018, you know what I'm about to talk about. Our university is notoriously known for going on strike super often. Like they go on strike because the school and the union could never agree on things. So they went on strike often. And my first year was 2017 to 2018. In 2018, March of 2018, they went on strike again. It was the longest strike in all of York University's history. It went on for six months. My first year of university, I was out of school for six whole months because of the strike. And, you know, obviously, like, I'm never against when companies and unions want to go on strike. Duh. Fight for it. Fight for your, you know, right to equal pay and stuff. So, like, obviously, I wasn't against it at the time. And duh. Like, I had six months off of school. It was once again one of those things where it was like, at the time, it felt amazing. At the time, it was like, yes, I don't have to worry about anything. My life is on hold for now. But then I look back at it and I'm just like, I really was just at home for the first few months doing nothing. You know, I didn't get a job until like July, like from March until June, I was just at home doing nothing. Like I was just sat there waking up every morning. It was basically like how we were during quarantine. It was such a weird time for me. My university experience in general was so weird. Like, I feel like if I talk about it, it's just gonna come off as sad because like, it, it was like low key sad. First year, our school went on strike for six months. So I was out of school for six months. Second year was all right, but um, I was working and I was working at Walmart. If you know, you know, Walmart, goddamn, that is definitely a place that, you know, shapes you as a human being if you work there. So <laughs> rough for me as well. But like second year aside from that was fine. Third year was actually really great. I think like third year for most university students, that's when like everything clicks. You finally understand what's going on. You finally get what you're doing and why you're there. And you know, that happened to me when I was in university. Originally, I went in with the plans of becoming a teacher. I love teachers, but like, again, Ontario teachers in general, they're always going on strike for equal pay and like just the way, you know, teachers in general are just treated is just kind of like, as much as I'd still love to be a teacher, I'm just like, I really don't think it's the right option for me anymore, which is sad. I stopped wanting to become a teacher. And then instead I was actually supposed to be a lawyer. Like that's what I was working towards in my upper years of uni. I was planning on becoming a lawyer and going to law school and stuff. Like I was right before the pandemic, I was studying for the LSAT and everything and I was ready to take it before the pandemic happened, which speaking of in third year, third year was my best year. I was getting straight A's. I was doing good. I was working hard. I was like motivated for school. And then 2020 happened and the pandemic happened. <laughs> and once again, schools shut down. Once again in March, it was in March. We were still doing things online, but like, um, most of my professors at least were like pretty chill about it. They were just like, just hand in the assignments. Don't worry about lectures or participation, write your essays. I was a humanities major. So all I had to do were essays. And then like, they would just call it there. I ended up passing all my classes still with like A's and B's, Ugh, not to brag. Then the pandemic happened. And like, luckily for me, at least like it was basically summer vacation. And then fourth year was like easily my worst year because it was all Zoom meetings. And girl, I cannot thrive. I cannot thrive with Zoom. That's what I've learned, like online shit in general. I need in-person dialogue. I need in-person classes and stuff. Like fourth year, I went from getting like straight A's to like my highest like, grade being a B minus. And it was all just because I couldn't adjust. I couldn't adjust to Zoom meetings and online classes. So yeah, that was rough. Uh, thank God at the time though, I was doing this. I was doing YouTube and I was working like my minimum wage shitty job. It wasn't a shit job, but like, you know, it was retail, which like, once again, if you know, you know. And then thank God, at least like during exam season of fourth year, <laughs> the 2.0 update happened. And that's basically why my channel blew up. 
And now here I am basically bubbling under 100K, ooh, doing this full time until January, at least when I go back to school. That's that. I don't know why I just sat here and talked about that, but that was my life with school. I don't know. School for me has always just been so weird. And I think it's going to be so weird. Like, I'm excited to go back in January, but at the same time, like, considering that I've been out of like normal school, like in a building on campus, I've been out of that since like 2020. It's been three years now. Like it's definitely going to take some time to adjust. I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm excited, but like still nervous. So I'm just saying that because like come January, if I'm very distant <laughs> and like kind of inactive, uh, just know that I'm focused on school and stuff giving you a fair warning about that now. Hopefully I'll be streaming at least. I think I'll be mostly streaming from then on forth. I'll still of course make videos, but like expect more streams than videos, I think is what I'm trying to say. I have so many yellow flowers. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh my God, so many. Like, I feel like this is like the color scheme for me though. Red or red, where the hell do I see red? Blue, green, yellow, white, and um, I would also add purple to the mix, like purple hyacinths if I get them. I feel like purple, green, and yellow is like such a nice color scheme for me at least. Like I really love that color scheme. So that's probably what I'm gonna try to do. Maybe on this island, but definitely on the new island for sure. Because like I said, we're doing that over on stream. So if you wanna check them out, you know, subscribe. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. What am I doing? Like. We'll chop down these trees. I think I'm just going to clear out this area. I don't feel like decorating right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anybody expected me to decorate today. Let me at least just get rid of these trees. Oh, God. You know what? <laughs> I, they're like, who cares? Who cares? I've been stung by so many bees that my character is basically used to it at this point. All these trees are chopped down and this area is fully almost ready to go. Let's just clear out these stumps and everything. Boom, area is cleared out. I am looking right over here actually, like we can just connect this path. I have this path running behind Teddy's house. We can just do this and that will give us something to work with. Yeah, I'll probably do all the decorating and stuff off camera because I don't know, like I'm kind of at a point right now where I don't feel like decorating and talking at the same time. Like y'all notice I've been doing more speed builds and I feel like going forward, like I'm probably gonna do speed build. Let's just kind of hang out on the island. It's early morning. Most of my villagers are asleep, so I don't have to deal with their annoying asses right now. Is anybody awake though? Oh, Whitney's awake. Oh my God, wide eyed in the morning. Well, hello, I take it you're done giving me the silent treatment. Well, clearly I'm talking to you. Oh crap, I forgot I have a bee sting. Can we actually gossip now? Like, how's it going with you and Margie? I spotted a strange boat anchor. I don't care about red. What's going on with you? Button, my dear, look, it's the acid wash jacket I got from you. Okay, don't talk, I love talking about me, but like, girl, I'm trying to know what's going on in your life. You know I hate to boast, but I do look stunning, don't I? And I feel stunning too. Stunning, she is serving right now. I love that for you, Whitney. Can you please like talk about yourself now? Button, I need you to be honest with me. I hear that you don't care much for sports. You don't play them or watch them, I'm told. Is this true? You can tell me anything, my dear. Yeah, that's true. I don't care sp about sports. I do like balls, just not those kind. I've made that joke like 20 times on this channel. I don't know why I keep doing that. But yeah, um, I like soccer players and like football players and rugby players, the men especially. Rugby players, rugby players? rugby players if there are any rugby players watching um hi <laughs> i don't know i've just never really been like a sports person in general like i guess i understand the excitement about it i mean like duh i'm a drag race stand i that's literally what my tell what i tell myself about sports stands i'm just like imagine it's like a drag show imagine it's like drag race and it's like somebody you're rooting for on drag race and how excited you get when they win and stuff like that's basically what sports are it's just a lot more mainstream it's so crazy like the amount of people i know in real life who actually like sports and like some of them aren't even like athletic people but then again to be fair like i i'm not a drag performer but i still enjoy drag race and watching drag it's the same thing but it's like it's so weird how you know mainstream 
sports are wow wow okay i was gonna because i knew i had a lot of fossils in storage um i did not realize it was this many i fully donated all the fossils <laughs> on this island so i mean for me at this point if i get these discovered and stuff like it's just money for me so you know what like why not let's see how much money i can make from these fossils i'm actually gonna time travel to like later in the day so that you know all of my villagers and stuff are awake this island is just going through like an identity crisis right now like that's basically what it is it's been so long since i decorated but it's just like you know the decorating urges just come and go for me, it's like they come in phases. Like right now I'm just not in the mood to decorate. On the island, I'm not in the mood to terraform. So it's like hard because it's like I wanna terraform on this island. And I have like some ideas. I just don't have the energy. Ugh, it's annoying, you know? <laughs> That's just what it is. Like y'all ever get like that? Not just with Animal Crossing, but like in general where it's like you wanna do things, but like you just can't. Me decorating my apartment in real life, like that's the other thing. I've been here for a month now, I still don't have curtains. <laughs> Girl, my window, I look into another building right in front of me and they're just, they like my neighbors can just see me. They see me right now recording because I'm too lazy to hang up my curtains. I also don't know how to, I'm just a wee little human. I need my dad's help, but like, ugh. It's just that time of year, I think. I just feel very like, I just wanna sit around and do nothing all day, but I can't because I'm an adult now and I have to work to pay bills. As much as I hate to admit it, like a small part of me misses living with my parents. I love living alone. I do, I love living alone, but there's like some elements where I'm just like, you know, back at home when I was living with my parents, I was able to just sit around all day and do nothing. You know, like I said, during like pandemic and stuff, I was able to do that when I wanted to because I didn't have to worry, but now there's just like that impending fear. I'm like, if I don't work today, I'm gonna end up like a shithead, like Lopez over here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What, yikes, what happened to your face? Yikes, what the fuck are you wearing on your head? Sorry, that was insensitive. Yeah, you're one to talk while literally wearing the poop hat. Oh, and now he's giving me medicine? Lopez, enough. You are not. You are, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. thank you for the medicine. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for that, but enough. Stop trying to be my friend. You know that will never happen. Gonzo, hello. Hey there, Vis, been a spell and a half since we spoke. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I never really talked to you on this island. You are literally my grandpa's husband and I never chat with you. Like we need to make an effort. Here, have a fossil. Oh my God, I can gift everybody fossils, right? Cause fossils is like high thing, right? Will he give me something? Here, he's giving me a shirt. Okay, oh, this is the move right here. Let's just gift everybody a fossil. I think if I wrap them though, I'll get more points. So you know what? Like, let's just grab some wrapping paper from Nook's Crannies and we'll just like wrap all of them. Sorry to Gonzo. I was just talking about how I want to be closer with them and then I forgot to wrap his fossil. Oh, well. Oh my gosh, and it's October right now. <gasps> this chair over here, I want a chair like that in real life. There's so many Animal Crossing items in this game that like I want in real life. Ooh, candy. Is it worth buying candy? The Nook Twins only let you buy one per day, which is so annoying because you know they have millions of them in stock. It's just like one piece of candy. They come in packs of like 20. You can't just sell more than one. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Yeah, there's so many items though like in this game that I want in real life, like especially the plants. Oh my God, the coffee plant that you get from Brewster. I want one like that in real life. I do, I really do. Also like these baskets right over here. Ugh, this chair, ugh, the humidifier even. Like that's such a cute humidifier. I should try and find one like that in real life. The mission right now with these, I, my pockets were full. I only bought five, damn it. That's fine, we'll just, Wrap five of these right now, it doesn't even matter. I hate that you can't just wrap more than one at once. You have to keep on clicking back and forth. Beautiful, beautiful gameplay here in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I need to buy more wrapping paper. There, and we can sell the rest of the fossils and see how much money I make from those. How many fossils am I selling right now? I think I'm selling 16 of them. Some of these look pretty rare and like important. I don't know, Does it? Is there fossils? in this game that are more rare than others, 62,000 bells, dang. All right, look at me, I'm in the six figures once again. I'm a millionaire in this game. <laughs> that number should not be surprising me anymore. This is literally 
the only game. Like this is the closest I'll ever be to being a millionaire in real life. Dolby, grandpa, hello, we're friends again. We are friends again, babes. You will always have my back. You were just trying to get me and Teddy to be on the same page once again. I know you were, I know you were, but you know me, I'm just an overdramatic person. And I hate surprises. You just needed to tell me that you were doing that first. He is giving me a pilot's hat. All right. Do we think I'm gonna get anybody's photo today from doing all this? I hope so. I actually don't even know whose pictures I have. That's the funniest thing is that like, you know, getting a picture from a villager is like the highest honor. I never don't, oh my fucking God. You know what pisses me off in the game? Like when they sit down, oh, look who it is, how have they been? Like when they sit down, you can't gift them. Like, this is the annoying thing. It's like, look, we can only talk or just say hi. Like, why can't they, why can't we just be like, here, I have a gift for you. And then Margie can just be like, oh, wait, okay, cool. Let me just get up real quick. And then you can gift them. But no, no, I can't do that. Because Nintendo just loves to inconvenience us in this game. Animal Crossing New Horizons, more like Animal Crossing constant inconveniences. Now I have to get out of Margie's house and then go back in and just hope she doesn't sit down once again. Margie, Margie, don't you dare sit down. Thank you. Have a fossil. I'm doing all this just to give her a fossil, just to give her literal bones. A Diplo skull. Yeah, you're getting a skeleton of a Diplomatosaurus or whatever those are called. Oh my God, isn't the Diplosaurus? Yeah, the Diplosaurus is the big one from the movie that her and I and all of them find. Oh my God, I did not mean to do that. The connections to the movie just constantly happen. Shout out to the Animal Crossing movie. Go watch my video where I summarized it for anybody who's curious about that. We just need more cute anime films that are just like, or just like animated films in general that like, you know, the plots are just so open-ended. I feel like nowadays, especially like movies, there aren't like open-ended plots behind them. There's like a specific goal for each of the characters and they're not just, they're vibing. Like that's what I loved about the Animal Crossing movie was that it was mostly just vibes, you know? It was I heading into a new town and just living her life there. There wasn't like a specific goal behind the movie. There wasn't like an end goal, like a specific mission that they needed to do. They just existed on the island and chilled and had a good comfort vibe. It also just helps with like the rewatchability, you know? Like you wanna watch it more often when it's just a vibe. Shout out to the vibes. The Animal Crossing movie is so cute though. I always wonder though, if they would ever make another one. You know, it wouldn't surprise me with the amount of attention Nintendo's been giving to Animal Crossing. Imagine if they gave us like a movie or a mini series or something soon. Like Pokemon, you know, they always have like anime and stuff for like every time a new game comes out. Imagine if Animal Crossing did that. Cause I know Animal Crossing, they had the manga for New Horizons. Imagine if they turned that manga into like a TV show. Nintendo consider doing it because I feel like it would do really well, especially if you get the vibes down correctly. And if you bring like some of the new leaf elements to it as well, Oh, like that would eat, that would eat so bad. Poppy is standing in the weeds and researching them instead of standing next to them. Honestly, Poppy, you're so real for that. Have a fossil and I'm getting more flooring. Why are they giving me flooring? Is that really what our friendship is? I mean, honestly, if you're close enough that you can just give somebody hardwood floors, like maybe it's a real friendship. What is Lopez gonna give me? Let's see, I'm gonna give him a fossil. I think Blathers already has something like this in his collection. Fortunately, I'm a collector myself. Of course, my specialty is in shoes. I hate to admit it that we are similar, but same, I like shoes too. Ah! I mean, I said I was probably gonna get one photo today. What are the damn chances? It had to be him of all people, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is how I get his photo. Of course I get it on camera. Of course. The first time I get somebody's photo on camera, it had to be his. I'm leaving that there. I don't even care. I don't think I have Teddy's photo. That's the craziest part is that I don't have Teddy's photo, but I got Lopez's photo first. I don't have Margie's photo, I don't think. No, I do have Margie's photo. I have Whitney's photo. I have Agnes's, Wolfgang's, and Dobie's. Hello, Agnes. Look at you looking cute in that red vest. You will not believe what just happened to me. I'm like pretty sure Lopez is still pining for me. He said he was over me and he was like, you know, now pining for Wolfgang, but they broke up. So I feel like he's back trying to get me again. And I feel afraid. I do. I do feel afraid. Oh my gosh, she's giving me a bandana. She wants us to join the gang. You know, like this is our gang color, the red. Oh my gosh, she's wearing red. I'm wearing red. We're gonna go beat Lopez up. 
Mm-hmm. We're gonna go jump Lopez. We'll do that later. I think it's too early to do it. We need to do it in the middle of the night. We'll sneak into Lopez's house, jump him, and steal all his clothes. Who else do I still need to gift? I, uh, Whitney is home. And Melba. Melba, Wolfgang, and Dobie. I think that's it. And Whitney is at home don't sit down oh my god she's just like her wife all she wants to do at home is sit she's wearing a gorgeous dress though this black dress looks so good on her um here have a fossil it doesn't compliment your look in any way but it's still a nice thing it's a terra body how exquisite thank you for such a lovely gift you're welcome what are you gonna give me a delivery jacket I mean, it makes sense for me to wear that while I'm going around giving everybody gifts. Which delivery jacket is it? <gasps> the blue one. Oh, this has been like such a niche video, by the way. Like, <laughs> I love that this is literally just a video where I'm just playing the game. Like, I had no plans. In fact, like the main reason why I'm doing this is just because like I have no ideas for videos right now aside from 100 Days in Stardew, which I'm currently working on. I know that video is going to take forever, so I'm like, as long as I have this out, have this video as, you know, some like somewhat filler content just to keep y'all going for a bit. I feel like, I don't know, especially now that I'm streaming, like I said, I feel like these more like chill and chatty videos, I might not be doing them as much anymore because I really want to get back to like, you know, the bigger, more grandiose videos and like the videos with like the voiceovers and stuff. Like those are the types of videos I love making, but I've just never had the time to do them. And I think now that I'm streaming once again, like I'm gonna be able to have more time to do them because it's like, I can just stream twice a week, you know, in the evening time and then spend like the mornings and stuff editing and working on the other videos. Wolfgang, hello. I am talking to you right now. Here, you're having the second last gift. What are you gonna give me in return? A biker jacket, okay. I respect that. Actually, Wolfgang was the last one because I wrapped up 10 fossils and I already gave a fossil to Gonzo. Oh my God, you know, oh, there's a bottle. There's a bottle. First, let's see who's in this bottle. Three, two, one, Groucho. Cute, a blue bear. Blue is my favorite color and I love bears. <laughs> that works for me and I was about to do Cap'n's little boat ride thing, but first I need to clear out my pockets once again. I never do Cap'n Islands anymore. So I mean like, we can just go see what's up with that. I don't know. Like, it's just at that point of the game. I've been playing it since launch and I've been playing the 2.0 update since it came out, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I don't really ever do all like the little mundane things that don't provide like any importance like Cap'n Islands once you have a lot of items in the game and you use Treasure Islands. Cap'n Islands don't really serve much purpose anymore. Harv's Island I don't really care for. God damn the potential was there to do more with the shopping district especially like the fact that the shops don't upgrade and they just stay in the trailers the whole time. It's such a missed opportunity to not have the stores upgrade. We're on the tropical island with the vines and stuff. That's cute. I'm actually running low on vines, so I guess we could take those. We also have a bottle right over here. Another one, who do we think it's from? Billy. Oh, the ruined broken pillar. <gasps> wait, I like that item a lot. Oh my gosh, wait, I need to show that right now. That's a cute item right there. That's so, that's such a vibe. All right, I'm just gonna steal all the vines up here and stuff because I need vines. I also need glowing moss. So I guess I could take the glowing moss too. These white cliffs, by the way, in game, like I said, in the next game, I really hope they introduce like different biomes that you're able to live on with your villagers. I feel like that would be really cool. You know, like deserts, this like white sandy beach area, snow, rocks, like all of that. Like it could be fun. It could be fun. It'd be a nice like change of pace for the game too. Instead of always doing like the foresty grassy vibes, it'd be fun to shake it up and also give players, you know, the option to do more, you know, and just like have more variety in general. All right, I've grabbed most of the vines. There's one vine left, but I, uh, who cares? <laughs> Let's head back now, baby. Oh my God, they started selling Halloween costumes. Ooh, Halloween is soon coming up on this island. I mean, I guess it would make sense to like try and figure out a costume. What is there worth wearing? Like we can wear a steampunk dress. Like that's kind of cute and sexy. Oh my God, like what if I just wore this, but like steampunk, but make it furry? <laughs> we got the animal hat on and we got the sexy dress. Like I'm gonna be a sexy furry. Oh my God, and the bunny nose. 
Wait, the bunny nose does work with this. If y'all see me pull up to the club like this in real life, mind your business. 